What is up everybody, Ashmatronic here, and today I am going to be showing you guys the best way to get XP in the new military update. It came out around two days ago, so it's a very good strategy to use in general. But yeah, I'm already at number 20, or I guess, I, I did not know what to call it, but I'm at number 21. And this is the loadout, these first three units you need to have... Or, if you don't have Spring Bonnie, I um, you can use Hawaii Endo down right here. Um, you can use Hawaii Endo. Um, I don't know why I have a range 3 on it. But, if you do use Hawaii Endo, you'd want to have, like, a range 3 like this guy. But, whether it is fine, I guess, for right now. Um, so yeah. You want, um, at least an Endo for damage. Normally damage. And then you want, um, Hawaii Endo for range. Because there's not a cooldown booster that I don't think of yet i cannot remember it but yeah i do not think so there is one um and then you need a patriot freddy with puppets nightmare i would i would guarantee have puppets nightmare or like you could obviously have something like vengeance but to not take damage at all you'd mainly want puppets nightmare and then these final two are kind of like you can use any unit that's like mainly just able to take down a boss it can be it can be like this um phantom golden freddy it can be him because he's not that hard to get right now he's mildly hard to get but i mean yeah you can use him you can even use the cupcake if you're rank 30 on the pass you can probably use him um you can use withered bonnie you can use shadow freddy or phantom freddy from the endless mode on number three but yeah let's just get straight into this i'm gonna actually have a timer so i'm not even gonna skip at all i'm not gonna do any cuts at all so that you guys know how long it actually takes by the way I, um if you guys notice an audio difference that's because i just got a new mic microphone and i'm redoing this video because before i did not know if it was connected or not or something and i figured out it was not connected so now i'm doing one with it connected and i want to see if you guys think that's a good microphone but yeah let's just get into it <laughs> So now you want to go to choose game day one nightmare mode it is the quickest way to get xp and you get 20 xp from it and you'll see how long it takes but yeah you want to do day one nightmare because it's obviously the easiest and day two or stuff it does not give you more xp for some reason they should add that in like the next like how they had summer event now they have military event they should do it in like the next one that they have but yeah like day five nightmare is like one of the hardest things in the game currently yeah you still get the same so you want to do day one nightmare mode and yeah um i'm about to start the timer whenever we get into this map and i will show you exactly what to do so now we're pretty much just waiting until okay yeah we're in so the timer is obviously started you want to take your um patriot freddy you want to put them straight away in the corner and then you can place two of them so you want to place them on the side like this and then you want to grab your other one getting ready and then you want to place them like behind him kind of waiting for you get 300 fun boom i mean and then yeah and then when you get now that i have enough for the fourth one you want to place it right here kind of like in like a little square because then both of your boosters can reach can reach the whole area um so yeah i'm really gonna put a damage endo right here he does um 1.325 damage boost on his first upgrade which is very good so yeah as you guys can see he reaches this entire area and then now we also have hawaii endo so we can place him here and he also reaches the whole area and he does 1.05 the only thing about hawaii endo is that he does 0.05 less because um spring bonnie actually does 1.1 but he's better for like more free to play players because i feel like spring bonnie is a bit harder to get in my opinion but yeah pretty much um you can go like upgrade one of these guys 500 then do the other one 500 um since i'm wise grinding and it's like harder to click out of like six different units in my opinion i just mainly just max one of them because it does not matter too much whenever you're doing it yeah i just like to max one and then max the other because it's not really gonna matter until like the later game 
And also, some surprisingly, the boss only has 40,000, which might seem like scarier a lot, but trust me guys, it is not a lot at all. Um, these guys could probably take it on its own, but for the video's sake, I'm not going to do that right now, because I have the timer going. But yeah, so far we have all of these maxed out. I would start actually with your range boosters. I would start to max out your range before your damage booster. Because now they can reach further and you can get through the waves faster. especially, And then you can do your damage. Okay, now this is where you can pretty much like do anything you want. My, In my opinion, the fastest way... Um, currently... Well, how far can he reach, actually? Let me look quickly. Boom. So, he can reach all the way to here. So, if I have, like, a shot, I have a Shadow Bonnie and, like, a Phantom Puppet or a Nightmare Puppet. I did not know what his name is. But, yeah, I just place him right here because he can reach in the booster. And, yeah, he'll get his range increased and his damage increased, both in the same. So, I can, like, place him right here. And the boss should go down very easy. We are already on wave 13 out of 15. I don't see the timer right now, but you guys will be able, you guys will see it in the top right corner right here. I'm actually getting rid of that. But yeah, you guys can see it right there. So, yeah, you'll see it in a little bit. Yeah. By the way, um, I was gonna make a video about getting this guy, but I'm kind of having technical difficulties. Like, it was gonna be, is the pass worth it and stuff? Like, worth the 800 Robux? Oh yeah, here's another thing that I do. I'm gonna place a Shadow Bonnie right here. I would place him in the corner, but I already have enough. But yeah, these guys can already reach him from back here with the range booster. So, that's in my opinion better. Like, originally these guys have 33, but now they have 39.6 because of the range booster. And that is a very good deal. Especially for this, because he's already pretty much dead. If I can get a couple dollars. Yeah, he's already dead. Three, two, one. Okay. So, yes. The timer has just ended. Now, we can even, like, go back to lobby quickly. And you guys can see that... Well, well, you guys can actually see the time. I can't, but... I'm guaranteeing it's, like, four minutes or something like that. Let's just say it was four minutes, which I don't know. But if it was four minutes, then you could easily... Actually, oh yeah, I have to address something. Um, by winning, you get 20 XP. Me, me, um, you guys saw I got 28.8. .8. That is because, um, since I own the pass, I get plus 20% XP gain, which now it's 24.4. And then I also own VIP, so that's another 20%. So, if you do not own either, then you'll get 20%, I mean, then you'll get 20 XP per game. If you own one of them, then you'll get 24.4, and if you own both, then you'll get pretty much just 29, which that is the best way, that has been proven pretty much, like, the best way to go about this the entire path, and I might actually do a live stream trying to get Rocketeer Mangle, just, like, grinding myself out, especially because you guys will actually see a new video coming soon on where i'm gonna be actually no i'm gonna just i'm gonna just not spoil it but yeah look how many games i've already played in. even though that might not look like a lot but that's like over 300 xp for me but yes everybody that is um one of the i don't think it's the best i cannot guarantee it's the best but yeah this is one of the best methods in the entire game so i would definitely try it out and good luck grinding